still many students has got doubts that whether engineering will have a better future or career i still i can bet definitely engineering has got tremendous opportunity in future if you rightly choose and develop your skills engineering first you should give lot of importance to the colleges which are going you are going to study and also the courses before we used to tell students that you you choose the college you do any course in that but now that is not the case you need to really choose about the courses and also you should know about the colleges also so we need to give equal importance to college and course how to choose the best colleges first remember being an if you want to do engineering and who can do engineering a student who's got ability to self learn because what you are going to study in the next 4 years is almost getting outdated the student who is going to learn beyond syllabus is going to win the race in engineering career how to choose a good college the student should first give importance which uh, college is going to teach you beyond syllabus which college is going to encourage you to participate in competition which college is going to really update your technology and all this and which college is going to teach you foreign languages learning a japanese language or german language will have a added advantage your job opportunities will grow 10 times more if you know if you know japanese language especially if you complete n5 n4 certification in german a1 and a2 next very important is uh, 70% of your placement in 2023 24 when you pass out is going to depend on the the competition you are going to participate most of the companies have now started recruiting students engineering graduates through online so you have to really participate in the lot of competition offered by the the companies for example if you want to get place in google you have to participate in google code jam if you want to get place in tcs you have to get you have to get you have to get show your skills in tcs code with a contest so you have to do all this type of work then only you can go about it next very important for engineering student is you have to choose engineering as a career you have to start learning about commerce economics business analytics blockchain and all this one of the most promising course in the future uh, for the engineering student is this time anna university and few self nursing colleges are planning to introduce a new course they are waiting for the approval the course is designed by tcs itself the course shows as computer science with business system it has got tremendous opportunity in future computer science and business systems my next choice would be definitely computer science or information technology first remember there is not much difference between computer science or it both are almost equal maybe few subjects three to four subjects might be very but remember one thing it is almost same when company comes for recruitment they don't give first preference to computer science or it they treat equally well how well you are going to establish your skill is going to be the key factor for your job so computer science it will be the next best choice next choice would be ec electronics and communication or electrical electronics but my preference would be electrical electronics because future is going to be solar power renewable energy and all this remember in india the the, the first solar train runs in india in the world even german people were astonished remember in this budget 40% in the next 6 years 40% of indian railways are going to be solar powered and we are we should be very happy to let the world know that we are the first people to establish the solar airport our kuchin airport is solar airport in the next 6 years more than 30 airports are going to be solar airports so this renewable energy solar energy has got tremendous opportunity remember also again before 2030 70 to 80% of the vehicles in the world are going to be electric cars so electrical electronics got tremendous future in the coming years but these these technologies are definitely not incorporated in our syllabus so do students who is doing electrical electronics should learn about electrical cars learn about renewable energy energy sources management all this if he does extra additionally is got tremendous opportunity if you are doing electronics communication make sure he learn about coding skills learn about artificial intelligence machine le- machine learning computer vision technology and all this next choice only will be mechatronics but remember in tamil nadu or in india mechatronics has got one disadvantage though robotics has got tremendous opportunity if you want to move further in your studies in india you have to write gate exam but unfortunately gate exam doesn't have mechatronics as a subject so remember that when you do mechatronics it's going to be very difficult to do your post graduation in top institution because top institution requires a good marks in gate next my choice would be mechanical or civil but i would prefer girls taking mechanical because 
this is a huge opportunity for girls because number of stu female students or women students in mechanical field is much less when compared to computer science or electronic. Today, the many, many institutions, financial institutions like World Bank are saying that if they like to give jobs, I mean, sorry, if they, if they like to give a financial help or uh, the uh, thing, they, they should have men and women ratio same. So women studying mechanical will definitely have some advantage. If you are doing taking civil, make sure that civil after undergraduate civil, you have to do post-graduation. And remember, you have to choose colleges for civil. I know many institutions in Tamil Nadu in South India, they, they do fantastic job in civil. You know what they do? They ask the companies to come and establish the company, their corporate setup in the college itself. With the MOU signing that at least 15% or 20 students should be placed in the company. So company is saving a lot of money by having establishing the, their corporate office in the college campus itself. There are many companies that are doing, especially the startup and civil companies are doing that. So you have to choose a college which has got incorporation of corporate companies inside their campus. Next is if you are doing for the other biomedical or biotechnology, my first choice will be biotechnology. Because again both biomedical and biotechnology are research oriented. Students who are very keen to go abroad for the research work, definitely biotechnology is good and also in higher studies because in gate examination, we have biotechnology, not biomedical. So biomedical students are finding difficult to persuade their higher degrees in a bigger way in a top institution because biomedical doesn't come under the, under the gate subjects. So students who are doing taking biomedical should remember the next target should be the foreign countries like US, Germany or Sweden or Australia to do their higher studies. But if you do biotechnology, you can do in Indian of Science or IIT, Karakpur are doing very well. But biotechnology, biomedical are research oriented. So remember, and always the final, my advice to you, always take a primary course. Don't narrow down at the initial stage of engineering career. Always choose a primary course like computer, mechanical, electronics communication, triple E, civil, rather than the secondary courses like automobile or production or manufacturing or industrial engineering. So remember, first to choose a course with primary courses, choose a good institution, update your skill, engineering, engineering has got a tremendous opportunity.